Greetings, and today I want to talk about sound chips here on LGR Blurbs, and specifically I want to talk about Yamaha sound chips, OPL chips in particular, because I'm a big fan of them. And I've just seen a video last week from David from Plogue, Plogue David I think is his YouTube channel name. It was a really in-depth informative video about the potential for Yamaha chip fakes. And so this is a an issue that I've been aware of for years now, you know, people making and selling fake chips, specifically sound chips for old computers, you know, things like the SID chips for the Commodore 64. I mean, so look at these. These, I'm pretty darn sure, are fake. <laughs> but for one thing, they all look exactly the same. Typically, if you're going to get a selection of five SID chips, they're going to look a little bit different. You know, the scratches and marks and stuff are going to be different, and the codes, the date codes are going to be different, things like that. But these are all identical. And uh, the thing is, they're even, like, identical on the bottom, from what I remember. Yeah, like, they're just identical all over which leads me to believe that they have at least been resurfaced. <laughs> Even if they're original chips, maybe they were just repainted. And uh, yeah, that, that's one of the issues that is just sort of plaguing the secondhand sound chip market these days on eBay, AliExpress, everywhere. So like, unless you're sourcing them directly from old cards, like say for instance, a vintage Sound Blaster or something, then you're not going to be exactly sure where your chips are coming from. And that's unfortunate because there are a ton of project boards like these in particular that are out there these days that are being made. I mean, they're from all sorts of, you know, just people that are making cool stuff. You know, I don't think that, yeah, let me, let me preface this, that I don't think any of these people like, you know, Serta Shop or Texelec or anybody are trying to scam anyone by using fake chips. Uh, maybe they don't even know it's a thing or, you know, they I don't know. Who knows? Um, there's just a thing though that it's happening and I'm not really sure uh, what to what to do about it, except that, I don't know, I just wanna make a video talking about it. So for instance, this is something that I found really uh, fascinating. Dang it, this lighting. Let's just, let's, let's do this. Okay, let's at least get out a little more uniform, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So these are two uh, ad-lib clones of sorts. So we've got the OPL2 LPT right here, and then this is just a clone that somebody made for me, um, specifically, you know, to have like LGR stuff on it. It's, yeah, it's just fun. <laughs> so the thing is, look at the chips. They are, again, identical. And these are from two completely different people, different parts of the world. The date codes are identical, like the printing is identical, the, see the little, those little cutout holes and such are identical. And if you compare that to a real OPL2, like one that I know for sure is real, um, like say for instance, this right here, there's the OPL2 on, uh, this is a Raiden Arcade PCB. You can see it looks pretty, pretty much the same, but you know, it's got those uh, slightly different kind of markers. It just looks, I don't know. It's hard to tell about these things, and that's why I kind of don't blame anyone for accidentally using fake chips, or maybe if the chips are real, but they've just been resurfaced. That's the thing. So is this a big, is this a big deal? That's sort of the question that I'm asking myself. I don't know. I, I really, like as a user, I don't really care too much as long as the chips sound exactly as they should. And like this, I am absolutely satisfied with. And the same with this. So maybe these were just chips that were pulled from boards and were redone, like, you know, painted over and then etched with uh, this new lettering and stuff. And they just kind of got lazy with it and put the exact same date codes. And it's an actual OPL2 chip underneath, like an actual YM3812. Maybe that's the case, maybe not, who knows? Uh, again, I refer you to that one video that I mentioned at the beginning. It goes into a lot more depth, but yeah, it's just fascinating. So I, uh, I've been curious, right? And so I've got some like nail polish remover that I use for cleaning certain things. And um, I'm just gonna use that on here. So it's just 100% acetone. And one way that you can kind of tell is, uh, you know, like if it's been resurfaced is by taking some of this and just sort of like seeing if any of this, if, if black comes off the top of here. So for instance, let me get the arcade board again. I do have an ad lib card, but it's in another system and I don't want to take that apart right now. 
<clears throat> but they're all the same chips. So, uh, okay. So here's the OPL2 on the arcade board. And I'm sure some dirt's gonna come off. Uh, yeah, just dirt. You know, it's just typical. But like, I could do this all day, really, and like those lettering, the lettering's not gonna come off, the black's not gonna come off. You know, it's fine. All right, so let's try the same thing again on one of these chips. And I haven't done this yet, so I don't know if they are actually going to do anything or not. Maybe not, maybe they're fine. Maybe they are actually legit, or they did a really good job. Uh, who knows? Yeah, I mean, it seems to be pretty, pretty well on there. It's definitely not coming off how I've seen some of them do that. You know, you'll see like a, a black coloring come off the top here, like a paint. Some is. Yeah, okay. There's definitely some coming off. Let me try again. Okay, so yeah, like here's the side that I did with the, uh, the riding board and Here's this one. Let's try this side again. Yeah, it's definitely got some sort of different surface on there. I've seen some of these, oh crap, yeah, there we go. So, I don't know, I mean, I think this probably was uh, an original chip, but it's just been resurfaced. And you know, ah, again, I don't have a problem with it necessarily as a user, I just wish that the the companies that were, or you know, whoever is selling these these chips on the secondhand market were upfront about it. Be like, hey, they've been resurfaced to make them look nice. And so we didn't want to sell a chip that looked like garbage. That's it, that's that's all, you know, and again, they sound perfectly fine. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. Just to be aware of, I guess, if you're really, really on to the whole idea of having perfectly original Yamaha YM chips, uh, like I am, or was, I guess, and now I kind of think about this, and I'm like, well, you know, maybe it doesn't matter so much, as long as they work. <laughs> and I've seen, you know, some tests where uh, the chips don't work at all. Um, a lot of other ones, not necessarily the OPL2s, these don't seem to be as in demand as a lot of others, but here's another board that I got recently uh, from Tech Select. This one is the SAM board. And this has a YM2151 on there. And let me, let me see if I can, if I can get this uh, really close up on here. Cause this thing, this looks more sus suspect than the, uh, yeah, OPL2 chip. Just because it has a kind of a different surface on there and the way that it's printed and it looks, I don't know, it just looks off to my eye. Uh, and again, I'm not saying that Texelec is intentionally trying to pass off fakes or something, because as far as I can tell, this thing sounds legit. So uh, whatever. All right, let's get a fresh Q-tip. So again, maybe it's just one of those chips that's been resurfaced. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know what's going on. It's this vast craziness, but let's just try. Oh my goodness. See, that's the... <laughs> Okay, so that's the result that can really happen with a chip that's been obviously resurfaced. Look at that. That is, there's nothing left. Compared to the other chips, that's not, um, not even close. Uh, wow, man. That's insane. I wonder how those Commodore chips are. I haven't actually tried that yet. <laughs> This is hilarious. Is there a truck outside? What is this going on? Yeah, see these, they hold up very well. And again, this is not like a definitive test or anything, um, but you know, it's just suspect that they look so nice and have the exact same date codes. And then you've got something like this, which is just, <laughs> that that is pretty clearly faked. Um, and then these, which, you know, maybe, maybe not, maybe they just happen to have the exact same date code and other little telltale signs that are suspect. In fact, the 8-bit guy, he had one of these as well. Um, this, 
yeah, OPL, 2 LPT, and his had the exact same date code as well. So, like, what are the chances of them having all the same code? Who knows? It could just be a better process being printed. I'm speculating. Wow, I just spit on these cards. I, I don't spit on them. I like all these cards, man. It's just, it's weird to think about the, uh... Oh. I guess the mail's here. Ooh, got a package of things. Uh, it's a future project. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Basically, fake chips. Fake. <laughs> Are they fake? I don't know. Like I said, the ones that I have seem to all work and they sound fine to my ear. Maybe there are certain applications or, you know, types of music or sound or something where they don't work as well as they should, but they're definitely not as, like, legitimate looking as an original like this. Uh, again, I'm just talking about these YM chips, these, these different Yamaha chips. Um, I, I was aware of the SID chip fakery problem for years now, but this YM thing is totally new to me. I had no idea. So I just wanted to make this video letting you know about it. Again, refer to that original one that um, I saw on the uh, David's channel, so that's way more in-depth than this one is. And uh, if I could ask one thing of, of the people that are making like hobbyist boards, you know, not originals like this one, not selling these, but you know, making, making your own boards with uh, old sound chips in them. Just sort of let us know maybe where the sound chips came from. Like if you got them from eBay or whatever, like that's fine. And just sort of a di disclaimer saying, hey, maybe, maybe the chip's been resurfaced, has a different paint job on it or, you know, whatever, uh, but that you've tested it and that it sounds legit. So I, I just don't want anybody to be like misled, like, like how I've been. I've certainly never tried to mislead anyone in my videos. I'm feeling kind of bad about that. That, that, maybe the chip is legit and it just has a different number printed on there by some source. Again, I just don't know and now I'm going to be conscious of it going forward because if it's not like a clearly original chip like this one here, then I think people should know about it. You know, the people, people should know things. And now I hope you know things. Thanks for watching this blurb.